2007, mm -hmm. you landed a major role in Transformers. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Crazy. You still had the, uh, one of the Transformers in his crib. Not at the time. Not at the time. Yeah, I yeah. got it all after. Yeah. But yeah, see my Transformer tattoo right there? Mm hmm. Yeah, I grew up watching Transformers, man. So you grew up watching the Hive man, and working just... with Michael Bay, of course. Oh, man. Oh. So here's a, here's a Michael Bay story. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Have I ever told this story publicly? No better time nah. than now. The Maloof Brothers. Uh, opening their first hotel in Palms. Vegas. That shit used to jump. Which, which Palms. One? Palms. Palms. Yeah. That shit used to jump. So, Whew. for the grand opening, they put like 75 some celebs on, on, on these private planes from LA just to be there for the grand opening. So, literally, I get on the plane and I'm on this private joint, just like, oh shit, private plane. Uh, it's crazy. And then uh, right as the door was about to close, Michael Bay come walking on. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I know exactly who the fuck this guy is sitting there. I'm talking about, Matt, I'm talking about right here, okay, on the plane. So I'm sitting there, shook his hand, cool vibe. He remembered me from coming to the set with Will and Martin. And then... uh I asked him a question. I was like, let me ask you something, man. Are you aware of how many people in Hollywood say you're like arrogant, you this, you that, and this? And I guess the question was like the last thing he expected me to ask him. But you can tell just on some real shit, he was like, yo, I appreciate you mm. asking me a real ass question instead of like sitting there telling me how much you love the movies I've done. Mm -hmm. I was like, so our whole hour flight was about just chopping it up about some real shit, like what people think of you versus what you think of yourself, versus what you said and what you did, what you responsible for, blah, blah, blah. That was the gist of it. And it was love. It was all love. So then I get to the lobby, and I've never hung out with dude. I was on the set. He was in go mode, you know, genius director, big action guy. Everything is a thousand miles an hour in his head, you know? And so seeing him when he's out of game mode, he's a whole nother person. Very cool, sociable. So I get to the front desk to check in. And as I'm walking through the lobby, because it's the grand opening, all these women was in the lobby in Vegas. And without me noticing, by the time I got to the front desk, I must have turned around. It was like 30 of them gawking and looking. And Michael Bay walked up to me, he's like, hey man, wow, you know, like he really got excited about all this energy that was around me. And my brain was like, <laughs> my brain was like, huh, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Lady, you wanna you know be my brother? Mean? Like, if this is if this is what if this Close is what you own, yeah, come on now. Hey, I do this, this, is, this is what I do. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is easy. You know what I uh, mean? Shit. I'm like, I'm the R and B nigga turn actor. Nigga. I got <laughs> juices following me this all day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 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 seeing the excitement that he's feeling about the energy around me. Now I ain't finna sit here and say I arranged anything, because I ain't that nigga, but <laughs> it was it was really like, and I was like, and then literally at the front desk was not the plan, but I felt his energy. I said, yo, man, I'm, I got some girls coming up, man. Drains is real low key, man. You ain't doing nothing. Pull up, right? Right? He's like, and then he was like, yeah, yeah, what's, you know, what's, what's your room number? You know, what's your, so I got the key. I was like, you know, blah, 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 405, whatever it was. And then I was like, man, this nigga ain't coming. You know, he ain't, ain't no fucking way he gonna come, you know. She. Man, listen. I literally, it's the funniest shit. If Michael see this clip, he gonna be like, you, brother. I've never told nobody. <laughs> hey, hey, he, no. got, he got there before you. Exclusive. <laughs> no, so, so I'm literally in the room, right? I swear to God, it was at least 30 chicks in there. I didn't tell them they needed to do anything. I just said, look, man. If this man knock at my door, when he come upstairs, 
Y'all got one job and one job only. Get me on. To just make him <laughs> feel yeah. like the most incredible motherfucker you've ever met. Yeah. And I said, look, man, I want y'all to know there is nobody in the history of cinema who knows how to film and capture women the way Michael Bay do on some Victoria's Secret, been shooting them campaign for 30 years, blah, blah, blah. So they all up in there like that. And I'm like, yo, he actually specialized in putting random women on. He don't necessarily need to be with a supermodel. He don't go for the established. He'll go and find some brand new oh, bad chick and up. make them look. Nigga, they was up in that motherfucker like, damn. They're just like, well, thank you for the opportunity. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at this. Hey, he, he gonna be happy to hang out with me. We gonna be way happy to see y'all when they get up there. Yeah, yeah. So, hey man, y'all ain't gotta do shit. Literally, I, this ain't no prostitution. Like, I ain't, I don't play them games. Yeah, not do shit. Which nothing did go down. But man, drinks, girls, put some music on, vibe. Had a nice little sweetie. It wasn't nothing crazy. And like an hour go by, I'm walking, I'm pacing in my room, and went boop, 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 boop. And I swear, man, I almost want to get up and reenact this shit, but the camera's on me. But like, if the peephole was here, nigga, I was like, I was like, oh shit, See, like it was like a move, was like oh shit, I'm like yo, nigga, if this motherfucker is on the side of this door when I look through this peephole, it's over, it's over. So I went, looked to the peephole, fuck. <laughs> y'all good, right? Y'all ready? Y'all yeah, ready? Position, Action. nigga. Y'all niggas do Action. Bruh, opened the door, came in. You know, he always got his little shirt just about right here, you know? <laughs> you know, he's Mr. Miami at 24. Hey, hey, man. You know, if you want something to drink, you know, they went, they went full on flirting. Like, don't worry about me. Just make sure he feels amazing when he gets here. Man, they hit that thing so far at the park. Next thing you know, got each other's number. He invited me to a Christmas party. That's up the street, by the way, here in Santa Monica. And uh, hung out with him. He's like, hey, man, uh, I got this movie I'm about to do. I'm thinking about doing it. You know, Steven Spielberg hit me up. And he's mentioning Spielberg like this norm. I'm like, <laughs> Spielberg, you know, he wanted to direct it. And he was like, well, you, maybe you should do it. He's like, what do you think, man? I said, Transformers? Like, man, are you, that's, that's childhood for me. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you think I should do it? I'm like, fuck yeah, man, it'll be crazy. He's talking to me like as if, me saying he should do it is going to actually make him do it. <laughs> I'm like, well, shit, dude, you going to ask me? Yeah. So then. You know what else you should do? You should put me in it, too. Yeah, yeah. That's just, <laughs> then, he, then he said, this was funny. Uh, he said, uh, he's, he's like, yeah, would you do a movie like that? I'm like, yeah. I'm trying. I'm like, I'm so fucking fired up. But I'm trying to play it cool. Like, yeah, man, I do some shit like that. <laughs> shit, yeah, it's true. It's true. Crazy, I grew up on that, man, I'd be crazy. You would kill that shit if you did it. And then he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, are you funny? I said, yeah, 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 I'm funny. I, don't, I mean, I can't really tell you I'm funny, but I, you know, yeah, I've, I've been known to, to, to keep niggas' attention and tell a good joke or two, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, and, and so <laughs> he invited me back to his office. I walked in his office, the whole room, was full of images. This is all computer generated. It's all of these images of the cars and the bumblebee before and after the this, you know, the Optimus Tron truck and all of these images. And he's like, come in, man. And I'm looking, I'm like, what the you know, I'm looking at my childhood. So he wanted to cast me in the first Transformers to play Bernie Mac. The car salesman who sold Shia LaBeouf's character, mm -hmm. the first Bumblebee, mm -hmm. if anybody's seen it, mm -hmm. that was supposed to be me, Bernie Mac. Mm -hmm. And after hanging out with him several times, he literally, sweat, he literally created the role, Nest, and had me with Josh Dumel, the soldiers, and we end up doing three Transformers. 
I would have been grateful for the Bernie Mac role, but for him to like, yo, I really like you. You a good guy. He was like, he literally out the sky. We had nothing to do with the storyline. He created the Transformers soldiers that work and rock with Shia LaBeouf's character. And all of that shit happened from an airplane ride. Mm. And all these women at the fucking hotel. What's the name of the hotel? The Palm. Oh. The Palm. They did their job. They 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 put me ladies, on the plane. Ladies, if you happen to see it, shout life. out, ladies. Good work.